G'day, g'day everyone. Welcome to another edition of Gov's Hero Review Videos. Uh, today we are going to be continuing in our Mutant series, taking a look at the five-star legendary purple hero, Mallet, the Nomadic Blight Lizard. Uh, so Mallet is available for summons from the Mutant Mayhem portal, which we just saw then, which rolls around once every 16 or so weeks. Um, the portal itself has got fairly average odds that's not great in the scheme of things so there is a one percent chance for one of the featured heroes and a 0.6 percent chance for one of the non-featured heroes so to put that in perspective uh, if you were to do 100 summons in this portal you would have a 63 percent chance uh, of summoning one of the two featured heroes and only a 45 percent chance of summoning one of the unfeatured heroes um, that is notably for one of them. It's not for a specific one. Those odds do drop off substantially if you're targeting a specific hero, um, particularly if it's a specific non-featured hero. Um, the Mutant Mayhem event itself is the newest of the challenge events. Uh, it was added in July, uh, sorry, in October 2022, uh, many years after the original three events were were commissioned in the game. There is theoretically still one more yet to come um, because we don't actually have a blue reflect event, but who knows when or if that's ever actually gonna happen. Mallet himself has only just been added to Puzzle Combat in January 2024, a fair while after the event's initial release in October 2022. Um, there were other heroes added to the portal in March 2023 and again in September 2023. So um, an ever-expanding portal. His artwork, uh, I'll flip over to it real quick. Uh, there it is. So thank you, Vals, for sending this one through. Uh, this is what his artwork looks like. So he's got, I mean, he's named Mallet, so he's got a mallet. Um, he's got the lizard tropes with, uh, with the big old chunky tail and um, some of the other lizard things. Um, I'm not sure about that leg structure. I don't know if it's anatomically correct for a lizard. Um, and I'm not sure about the blight aspect of it. Um, he doesn't have what you'd typically consider as blight growths. Maybe some of this stuff on his shoulders would be blight, but it looks more just like spikes. But anyway, that's his artwork. Um, he does have a cool little fun guy hanging out with him, um, ready to be yeeted across the map as he, as he swings his mallet. But yeah, that's his artwork. Thank you once again, Vals, for supplying it. Um, and we can have a look at his family bonus next. So he is a member of the Mutant Goon family, or Mutant family for short, which means that Mallet has a 10% chance to cast Natural Selection whenever he uses his special skill. Uh, natural Selection will do one of three random options. So option one is that it might apply an attack and accuracy buff for plus 140 attack and plus 44% accuracy to all allies for three turns. Option two is the provision of a uh, debuff shield to all allies, making them immune to new status ailments for three turns. Uh, and option three is a, a DOT inversement or reversal, uh, which makes uh, damage over time ailments heal the allies um, for the equivalent amount for three turns. So a little bit confusing, uh, even more so in battle when it's hard to tell which effect is actually fired. Um, but there are some decent ones in there. I mean, the option two is probably the best um option three probably the weakest uh, or most niche but yeah pretty good overall there is also a stat bonus that mutant family members gain when you use multiple unique members of the family in battle so you can gain a plus two four six or eight percent improvement to attack and defense stats if you have two three four or five unique mutants in a battle um, notably, they do have to be unique, so it can't be two copies of Mallet. You've got to bring two different heroes to the fight, such as Mallet and Aquani, or Mallet and Venus, for example. Um, the natural selection, though, that just needs the one hero, so it happens anytime you use Mallet, or can happen, rather. In terms of Mallet's personal stats, he comes in with 724 attack, 788 defense, and 1461 HP. So there is a little bit of... There is some skewing from that attack stat towards the defense stat um, and maybe a little bit into his HP, but no, not much really. Uh, his charge speed is set to 64, which is fast speed and requires nine tiles to charge or five ghosted tiles. To get a speed break, you do need only plus one, which is possible using either of the purple speed guns in the game. You've got the plus six pearl scale convex or the plus nine explosion B90. A double break requires plus nine speed improvement, which you can obviously do using the explosion. Uh, plus nine is greater than plus eight, which grants you a double break. 
the class node itself you can use it to achieve the first break if you are limited in speed weapons um, however it's not at all useful towards that second charge break um, so generally speaking not overly relevant unless you've got no speed weapon to apply to mallet but still want to charge break him anyway uh, speaking of his class, uh, Mallet is a member of the Sentry class, which grants the chance to armor up um, and gain 5% armor after receiving any damage. Um, I don't mind this perk, it could be better. Um, the damage can come from any source, so it can come from minions, tiles, skills, DOT, whatever. Um, the biggest downside is that it can only proc once a turn, and it only procs for himself, as opposed to like the Medic class, which, can proc which procs for the entire team. So yeah, 5% health, uh, sorry, 5% armor for one versus 7% healing for all allies. A little bit different. Uh, in terms of an emblem path, uh, I would probably be going an attack path to try to boost his damage output. He does have a reduced attack stat, so I want to improve that as much as I can to increase his damage output. Uh, I would probably take uh, HP as a secondary because of the counter attack side of things, but um, yeah, so what that looks like on a tree, if I just grab up Shocker, um, and I'm just going to have to draw on his, sorry, he's up here because I have a war machine. So in terms of what that looks like on a emblem tree, uh, we'd be going to pick up, as I said, attack nodes with HP as the secondary. So we go attack and HP, attack and HP. Um, the choice on this one, I definitely go the defense and HP route, um, on the left side there. Um, and then I'd go attack, uh, attack and HP, attack and HP at the end there. Um, plus 19 and plus 20, um, probably not relevant as I said. The 19 node gives you speed, so you don't really need it. And plus 20 is a lot of emblems to apply for just a 3% defense improvement. So that's what I would do in terms of a emblem path. I'd be going and following the attack and HP nodes as much as possible. So screenshot that if you need or save it or whatever you want to do. Um, but we will carry on with the skill of Mallet. So his t skill is titled Blight Smash. Uh, and at level 10 skill and 64 charge speed, it will deal 420% damage to the target with additional 100% damage if hitting an enemy with a status ailment or ailments. Uh, the target will then receive plus 50% damage from turn-based effects for three turns. Uh, this effect cannot be cleansed. And the caster will then counter-attack with 145% damage uh, received for three turns. Um, couple things going on there. So we'll start with the damage side of things. Um, so attack power is how I compare damage dealers. Damage is quite difficult to normalize because of the variability of the calculation. Um, so attack power, it feeds into the damage calculation and it is comparable. So uh, attack power is just the attack stat, 724, multiplied by the skill damage, which is 420% on mallet, uh, which comes out on mallet at 3041. To normalize it for speed, we divide by the nine tiles to charge. So that comes out an attack power per tile of 338, which ranks him number four. All right, we can see on this list, there's a lot of conditional damage options in all of this, but Mallet comes in at number four rank in terms of the base damage of purple snipers. It does improve somewhat. You can see up to 483 uh, attack power per tile when we um, factor in that bonus damage against ailments, um, which is very nice. It does go up a couple spots, but also so do some of those other purple snipers around him in those damage scenarios. It is worth noting that the triggering of that bonus damage is arguably the easiest of any bonus damage to proc. Like, it is insanely easy to do. It can be literally any ailment. It can be attack down, defense down, DOT, master weapon quest, um, so like the bleed weapons, uh, the burn weapons, the poison weapons. It can be the assault class speed. It can be charge ailments. It can be literally anything which is an ailment. Uh, a really good pairing would be with a like an elemental defense down hero. So you fire Marigold. Marigold puts a, an ailment on him in the form of elemental defense down and also the blind ailment. And that then triggers the bonus damage, but it was also enhanced by the elemental defense damage, effectively guaranteeing a kill shot on a specific hero. So very good combination or potential combination there. But yeah, bonus damage 180%. 
very easy to do and able to jump him up a couple spots that we see on that list there. Moving on from the damage, the next part of his skill is the application of the DOT enhancement ailment. Uh, for Mallet, I find this fairly meh. Uh, I don't really see it working in with his skill at all. Um, it's on a single target. He doesn't create any DOT. Um, so the only real incentive is if you bring a DOT hero to trigger his ailment damage and then he sort of like reverses this situation like you scratch my back I scratch yours here's an extra 50% damage from your DOT but I don't know it's a little bit weird um I don't I yeah I don't know um particularly because it's only on one enemy if it was on multiple enemies it might be a little bit more useful um but yeah a little I, I don't know I don't see it working in huge synergy with mallet um the final part of his skill is very similar um in terms of my feelings about it but it's the self counter attack for three turns um the 145 percent listed in the skill it is consistent with all of the five star counter attackers um there's two four star options rana and flint they go down to 125 percent but all of the five star counter attack heroes have 145 percent i am fairly confused about this ability on mallet um it doesn't really seem to fit with any of the other parts of his skill. Um, it's only to himself, so it's of very limited impact. Um, for it to really work on a single hero, you sort of need taunt or something to sort of direct damage onto the counterattack. Um, otherwise, to make it effective, you want to spread counterattack over multiple allies in order to increase the surface area or the likelihood of actually doing counterattack damage. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really confused by it on Mallet because I just... I don't see anything in his skill or his description or anything which really screams this guy's a counter-attack hero like this works really well with him so i don't know I, I just i just don't get it so overall mallet seems to be an okay hero if you just look at his damage and you ignore the other parts of his skill the second and third lines of his skill make it a little bit confusing about his purpose but for me i'd like i find it so much easier if you just look at him and go this guy's going to smash you like he is going to absolutely wreck you because that bonus damage is so insanely easy to trigger. You can have almost endless possibilities. There is so much flexibility with how you can do it, who you pair it with. Um, and it's also you're, like you're pretty much always guaranteed to trigger even that bonus damage with a defending hero. Um, because I mean, the AI sucks at targeting, but if you put an AoE 5 ailment hero out or even an AoE 3, you're most likely gonna hit it. Um, so yeah, I, I do think it is, his damage is quite good. The second and third parts of his skill is quite lackluster and it doesn't really synergize with itself uh, or add match to his skill, which is a shame. But the damage, if you just look at the damage, it is pretty damn good. So for Mallet's grading, I'm gonna give him a B grade for war and raid attacks. Uh, this is mainly because he's somewhat confused, but he is staying up there because of that damage output that he's got. Uh, for war machines, I'm gonna give him a B minus. Uh, again, there's I mean, it's predominantly damage based at this point for that. Um, eventing though, down to a C plus because he is single target only. Um, this isn't the best for competing or completing in events. Um, so yeah. Uh, war and raid defenses, I'm gonna give him a B grade. His stats are good. The bonus damage is so easy to proc that even the AI can do it. Counter attack is actually probably most useful on a defending and in a defending situation. Um, so yeah, I'd probably put him in a wing and allow for ailments on both of the flanking heroes Would be where I'd stick him on a defense team uh, In tournament settings, I'm gonna give him a B grade for in bloody battles I'm gonna give him a B grade for attack and a B grade for defense uh, Buff boosts, I'm gonna give I'm gonna keep him at a B grade for both attack and defense He doesn't really contribute to your overall team buffs, but he does grant himself a buff uh, and then in charged attacks, I'm going to knock him down actually to B- minus for attack and B- minus for defense on charged attacks. And that's because he doesn't gain any speed improvement if you've already got a plus 9 speed gun on him. Uh, so overall, that grants him a B- minus for his overall attack grade and a B for his overall defense grade. So yeah, decent hero, a little bit confusing um, in terms of his purpose, and I think that he could have been better if they'd put different secondary skills on him. Um, yeah, I, I just don't see the second and the third parts of his skill really synergizing well at all with his damage output. I mean, they're there, but I wouldn't say that they're hugely
beneficial. So anyway, that concludes all the content that I have for this review of Mallet. Uh, as always, these are just my personal views on these heroes. I do love hearing your thoughts and feedback on them. So please, if you did enjoy the video, um, please like it, subscribe to my channel. There's heaps more stuff like this around. But most importantly, share the video because if you found it to be useful for yourself, it's also likely going to be useful to the people you play with as well um, and beneficial to them also. Uh, thank you once again for joining me for this review. I do hope that I will see you again soon. But until then, please stay safe, good luck, and happy gaming. Cheers. Bye.